So solving radical equations, as we said yesterday, each variable under a square root is a radical. And it, since this is a radical expression, if it has an equal sign, this we call it a radical equation. And because it's an equation, we need to solve it. We say that to solve any radical equation, the first step, you have to isolate the radical. You have to keep it on the side and the, and the numbers on the other side, as we saw yesterday. And after that, you have a square root of x equal a number. But I don't want the square root of x. I want x only. So what I have to do by find the square of the two terms. When you find the square of the two terms, you will find x. This is for it. And sometimes we have a radical expressions on both sides, like this example here. Radical expression in both sides. What we have to do? The first step here, I want to remove the, the square root. The radical. By, yeah, by but or by put a square on each term. And as I told you, the square, like Superman, it cancels the square root. So I have now, how it comes now, like linear expression, linear equation. 5t minus 11 equals t plus 5, and I need to find t. Did you solve this example? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Solve it And this one, okay. It's Let's the 19, yeah. 11, and okay, oh, okay, let's okay. check. As we told, okay. So here, as we say, let's solve now number uh, 19 as an example to remind what we did yesterday. Then we will continue. Now number 19 here, we have square root of 3x plus 1 equals square root of 5x minus 8. We have to square the both terms. And since you put a square root on the left, you have to put it in the right. Then it's cancel it. So we have 3x plus 1 equals 5x minus it. Then, as we said yesterday, let's put 5x on this term here. So negative 2x plus 1 equal negative 8. Let's remove now, or let's isolate the variable. Minus 1, minus 1. What did we have now? We have negative 2x equals negative 9. Over negative 2, over negative 2, we have x as 4.5. Let's check your answer here, negative 2x, exactly, minus 9. Okay, this is the answer now. Now let's check your solution. How can I check your solution? By evaluate or by substitute an x in the equation here. I have 4.5. Let's now substitute it. Now, square root of 3, <clears throat> let's keep, oh, can keep it as 9 over 2, plus 1 equals 5 times 9 over 2 minus 8. Now, 3 times 9, 27 over 2, plus 1, or we can write it as since it is 1, it is like 1 over 1. So we have to multiply. Since I want to add, so they have to be, or they have the same denominator. So we have 27 over 2 plus 2 over 2. 
equals here 5 times 9, which is 45 over 2, minus 8 over 1. I want to subtract them, so I must have the same denominators. Now let's add 27 plus 2, it's a 29 over 2. Does it equal? Let's hear now. 45 minus 16. 45 minus 16. Here we have 15. Here we have 3. 15 minus 6 is 9. 3 minus 1 is 2. So does it equal 22 over 9? Are they equal now? Yes. 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 So this is it. since they are equal, so I can say now this is the solution of the radical equation. Since after I checked, it's a true. So I will say that, yes, we have a solution. And x here is 4.5 or 9 over 2. Now today, as we know before, when you want to solve any equation, did you remember when I said that some of the equations have two solutions, some of them has one solution, and some of them, they don't have any solution? Here also on radical equation, we have the same. Some of the equations have a solution, and some of them don't have. When you solve an equation by squaring each side, you create a new equation. Like, look at this example here. If you have x equal to 3, this is an equation. When you square each side, so what did we have now? A new equation. So we could by we square it, we make a new equation, which is x squared equals nine. Now, if you have x squared equal nine, this is my new equation, and you want to solve it, what you have to do? I will put the square root. And both of them, exactly. So x will equal what? Three. Three, three negative and three. And negative three. Negative exactly. three. So here now, <coughs> if you look at it, what is the original equation was? It was x equal 3. But when I square it and find the square root of the new equation, I have now two solutions for it. x is 3 and x is negative 3. These solutions are, we call them apparent solutions. Okay, here. After we create a new equation, we have now two solutions. We call them an apparent equa apparent solutions. These solutions now will not satisfy the original equation because the original equation x equal to three. But when I after I make some change, I have now two solutions: three and negative three. What does it mean? That means after I solve the radical equation some of the solutions I get didn't satisfy the original equation. Like as an example, if you solve this one, you get two solutions. You have to check the two, the two solutions because one of them may not satisfy. So here, when you solve this example later on, you, so you have, or we find that we have two solutions. So which of, of which one is a solution you have to check maybe you get two solutions maybe you get one maybe there's no solution so after you get the answer you have to check if it is correct i will say this is a solution if it is no this is not a solution so this solution which is does it didn't satisfy the original one we call it extraneous extra uh, this one extraneous solution okay this is after i substitute the original equation i didn't find that this is a correct solution 
So we found we saw we name it with extra news solution. Let's now see here. So let's continue now. So here now in this problem, I want to identify the extra news solutions. What we have to do here? Here, as we see, we have an equal square root of n plus 12. So here, our, our equation n is square root of n plus 12. To cancel the square root, what we have to do? I will put the square for the both terms. So what did we have then? We have n squared equals n plus 12 because the square root cancel the square. Then let's now write them as n squared here or oh, before that. Let's say that it is minus n minus 12 minus n minus 12. So let's subtract minus n minus 12 from both the both sides. So what did we get? We get n squared minus n minus 12 equals 0. So here now, let's see. Then we have the first, we have Arabic equations. After I square them, that's I, will, I told you about them here. This is the equation. When you square the each side, you have now a new equation, which is a quadratic equation. Now let's solve now the quadratic equation. Here we have n squared minus n minus 12. Let's factorize it. As we said before, I want them now two numbers. If you multiply them, you get negative 12. And if you add them, you get negative 1. What are these two numbers? Um, four, 3 and 4. Bravo, negative 4 and positive 3. So... This now, n minus, oh, uh, so what are the solutions? We have n equals 4. n equals 3. And no, n negative equals three. negative 3. Here now we have these two solutions. These two solutions. These two apparent solutions is a solution for the quadratic equation. But I want to check now. Is these two, these two, uh, these two uh, solutions, or are these solutions, solutions, sorry, is a solution for the quadrant, for the uh, radical equation? I want to check. So these two numbers, 4 and negative 3, are the, uh, are the solutions of the quadratic equation. But I want now to check if these two solutions are the solution of the radical Let's see. How can I see by evaluate on them? Let's try now n equal 4. When n equal 4, let's say it's say 4 equal 4 plus 12. Now 4 plus 12 is 16. And the square root of 16 is 4. So is 4 equal 4? Yes. So I will say n equals 4 is one of the solutions. So it sets 5. Let's now see n equals negative 3. Negative 3, I have to substitute here, equals negative 3 plus 12 negative 3 plus 12 negative 9 not negative nine. 9. Nine. Positive 9 now what is the square root of 9 3 3 is it equal negative 3 no no, no. no. so i will say now n which equal negative 3 is an extra newest solution why? Because it doesn't satisfy the radical, the radical equation. 
So the only solution for an or oh, for this radical equation is an equal four. So when an equal four only is satisfy here, when an equal four only, this is satisfy the radical equation. So teacher, now what is the final answer? An equal four. Okay. This is a solution, but you have to do all these steps. You have to check yeah. because this two answers are the answer of the quadratic, but maybe not the answer of the radical equation. I have to check. Did you know uh, negative uh, four and three is uh, factors for 12, right? It's factors for, for the quadratic, yes. Oh, okay. This is for the quadratic, but I want to see which one satisfy the radical. Mm -hmm. We found that it is only four. So I will repeat. The extra newest solution is a parent solution that doesn't satisfy the original equation. How can I find the extra newest solution? By substitute the apparent solutions, that is these two numbers, four and negative three. Substitute them on the extra newest and the uh, equation, on the radical equation. If it is satisfied, I would say that this is a solution. If it is not, I will say this is an extra newest solution. Is it clear? Yes, and teacher four is a parent solution. Yes, four is a parent, but an uh, negative three is an extra newest. Hello, both of them are okay. apparent for the quadratic is apparent solution. But the negative three is apparent that not, doesn't satisfy, so we called it an extra newest solution. Okay. Okay. Now, let's solve this question here now. What is the solution of negative y equals square root of y plus 6? So here what you have to do, square each side. Yes, let's square now each side. So negative y squared, y squared, because it's the negative, one. the squared cancel the yes. negative sign. So we have y squared equals y plus 6. Teacher, y plus 12. Why? No, it's only cancel the square root. Don't change the number okay. under the square root. Okay. So y squared is y plus 6. Then minus y, no. minus y. So what did we have here? We have y squared minus y equals 6. Then minus 6, minus 6. So we have y squared minus y minus 6 equals 0. We will factorize. It will be negative, <coughs> negative positive. Why? Why? Let's see. Negative 3 and positive 2. So I have now two apparent solutions. Y is a 3. And y is negative 2. Negative 2. Now I want to, to check which is the solution and which is the extra newest solution. y equals 3 and y equals negative 2. Yeah, at y equals 3. Let's try now. Negative 3. Does it equal? 3 plus 6? Yes. 3 plus 6? No. no, no, no. 9. Uh, what is the nine. square root of 9? 
Three. Uh, Teacher, isn't this negative three? No, I told you. If we have x squared equal nine, you tell me that it is positive and negative three. But the square root of nine is only three. Okay. Let's continue here. So, now. teacher, I yes. have a question. Yes. Here, uh, y equals three, then why here is what negative three? Ah. I'm sorry. Ah, okay. Uh, because here we have negative y. Oh, okay. So you have to say negative of three. The second one now for y equals negative two. Teacher, yeah, teacher, it's negative y. So negative times negative. Yeah. So here I have negative. Uh, oh, yes, yes, yes. Negative two understand. equals yes. negative two plus six. Negative of negative two is two. Negative two plus six. Negative um, four. 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 And the square root of four is two. two. So two. this is a solution. So which, what is the solution of this equation? Uh, two. two. Y oh. equal negative two. Mm -hmm. Okay. And which is the okay. extra newest solution? The three. It's y equal Equal three. Exactly. Is it clear? Yes, teacher. Yes, miss. Teacher, I have a question. Yes. In the last uh, uh, in question in problem four, we here in this problem got four. Mm -hmm. Here we we make uh, y equal three and uh, y equal negative two. But here it's y, uh, y minus 3 and y plus 2. Why okay, you look, change them? Okay, okay, look at the equation here. What's the equation? Yes. It's negative y equal square root of 5 plus 6. So I say negative y. So if y is a 3, what's the negative y? Three. If y yes. equals 3, what is negative y? Negative three? Negative three, exactly. That's why I wrote here negative three. If y is negative two, what is negative y? Negative two. That's no, it. Y is negative two. What is negative y? Two, it three. will be negative of negative two, which is? Two. Positive two, exactly. Oh, okay. Thank you, okay. Yeah. Now, here in this problem, Sometimes you get only extraneous solutions. What does it mean? That means after you solve, there's no solution. So as I told you, since it's equation, so it could have no solutions. Let's see here now. Oh, let's identify now these equations with no solutions. Let's find, now let's solve this one. Let's see that how there's no solution for it. For 3y, plus 8 equals 2. What I have to do first? I have to isolate. It. It's right. So I have now square root of 3y equals negative 6. Then what is the next step? The square root. Square. Answer it. Exactly. So then, what is the square root of 3y squared? 3y. It's only 3y. 3y. So we have 3y. 3y. And negative 6 squared? 6. Um, I mean 36. 36. Bravo. Over 3. Over 3. So what is the value of y? 12. 12. 12. So y is 12. I didn't finish. Now, I want to check if y equal 12 is a solution or no. So, let's see. Let's now substitute on this equation here. Square root of 3y plus 8. Does it equal 2? Let's now evaluate. But instead of writing y, 
let's write 12. Now, 3 times 12? 36. 36. What is the square root of 36? 6. Six. 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 Plus 8, which is 14. Mm. Is 14 equals to? No. 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 So I will say here there's no solution for the radical equation. Since there's no solution, so what is the extraneous solution? It's two. Uh, I mean 12. 12, exactly. Teacher, when we say no solution, means there is no other way to solve this. Um, yes. Uh, this equation? Okay. Yes. Oh, there is no solution for it. Okay. Okay. Let's solve now this one here. What is the solution of six minus square root of two x equal 10? We will isolate six first. Bravo. First, we have to isolate it. So here we have 10. Let's say now, minus six, minus six. So, negative square root of two x is four. Then here we have negative one multiplied by square root. So let's divide by negative one, divide by negative one. Then what did we have? We have a square root of two x equals negative four. Four, four. right? Here? Okay. Then after that, let's square both sides to cancel the square root. So what did we have here? 2x equals 16. We have 2x equals 16. 16 from over 2 divided by 2. Divide by two. 7 so x equals x 7. Equal now let's yeah, see eight. that. Is there a solution or no? How? By evaluate in the equation. So 6 minus square root of 2 times 8 equals 10. Let's see if it is 10 or no. First of all, let's, by using the priority, so 2 times 8 is what? 16. So 16. Why, I tried, why I started here, I have to use the pet mass, the parenthesis. 2 times 8 is 16. Then, after the, after it, we have to use that after parenthesis, we say we have here. So, after we use prime parenthesis, let's find now the exponents. It's the radical, the roots is like exponents because it is x to the power half. So, what is the square root of 16? 4. Four. 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 Then, there's no division, there's no multiply. So, let's have now the addition. Or the subtraction. It's 6 minus minus 4, 4, it is 2. Is 2, two. 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 equals 10? No. no. So this no. is the. So no. I will say that there's no solution. 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 And x equals 8 is an extraneous solution. Is it clear? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, on Sunday, inshallah, we will yes, solve. Teacher. On Sunday, we will solve these examples and we solve also the worksheet that I give it to you on the discussion group. Okay, teacher, have a nice day. Thank you so much. Thank you, teacher, so much.